Good morning, kids. Welcome to the five minute devotional. I hope you are doing well. Um, today, we will be looking at a very famous verse about love. But sometimes this verse is used in a wrong context because when we are reading God's word, oftentimes we have to kind of take a look what is the context, what is the background, so that don't, we don't re apply it in the wrong way. Not that when you apply it in the wrong way, it's bad, but we just want to make sure that when we're reading the word of God, that we're reading it for the same reason that was applied back then for the people. That's why context is really important. Today we come to the verse of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, very famous verse 4 to 13. It says this, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it's not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no records of wrong, love does not delight in evil but rejoice with the truth, it always protects always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. We end there, but then it goes like this. But there are where there is prophecy, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be still. Where there is knowledge, they will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when completeness come, what is in part disappear? When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. But when I become a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we only see a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now, now I know in part. Then I should know fully, even as I'm fully known. And now these three remain. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. So as Paul is warning the Corinthian church is that, hey, don't boast some of the gift things you may have because they were actually comparing and saying, I'm better than you because I know how to prophesy, I know how to speak in tongue. But Paul was reminding, even when you have all this, without the love, it's actually meaningless. Therefore, how are you gonna display your love this weekend would you think about what are some of the things that you can do to display love for others so I want to bless you this weekend actually uh, next week sporadically Pastor Frank will, will, will be doing the Bible devotional I'll be taking a little break so hopefully that you guys uh, will show me the next week what are some of the love that you, how do you show love in action next week? You comment below what you've been doing uh, in the YouTube channel, uh, in the comment section, and I will give you a loaf of bread. Let me know when I'm ready to bake more bread, I will give you a loaf of bread. God bless you, and I will see you soon.